Welcome to the Insurance Agents and Brokers Podcast. Hello, my name is Megan Fioretta, and I am the brand manager for IAB. This is the audio version of the feature article from January 2024 issue of Primary Agent Magazine. It is entitled, Exercise Caution When Using the ENS Market by Utica National. Most agencies would not achieve the success they have without effective and diligent use of the excess and surplus lines or ENS market. Whether the market is hard, soft, or somewhere in between, it entertains varied exposures and plays a vital role in ensuring high property values and risks wanting extremely high liability limits. Using the ENS marketplace presents some significant challenges and issues that can raise the potential for increase in the agency's ENO exposure. It is critical to develop the appropriate processes to handle them. Use these best practices to help address more significant issues. Number one, follow up after sending an application to the wholesaler to make sure they received it and will be able to provide a proposal by a specified date. Periodic follow-up is a good idea as you get close to that date to verify a proposal is forthcoming. Number two, Compare what you requested in the application to what is provided in the proposal. There's a good chance the ENS market will not provide all the coverages you requested in the app. Don't expect the wholesaler to tell what was and was not included. Have a process in place for this because as the retailer, it is your responsibility to do the comparison of what was requested and what was provided. The importance of this cannot be overstated. Number three, secure specimen forms from the wholesaler at the ENS market is known for using some unique policy forms that can drastically modify the coverage. Review these forms in depth as they may contain some unique exclusions or limitations of coverage. Many agents include these forms with the agency proposal. Encourage your insureds to review them to determine any areas of concern. Number four, don't advise the client that coverage is bound until the wholesaler tells you it is. Technically, the wholesaler is the agent of record, so retail agents probably will not have any rights to bind coverage unless authorized and approved by the wholesaler. Number five, have procedures to get coverage bound at or before the inception date. If coverage is bound afterwards, don't be surprised if the ENS carrier does not honor the effective date of coverage. Number six, contact the wholesaler far in advance of the desired effective date of coverage to determine if there will be any major differences in the renewal proposal. In the admitted market, carriers are required to provide conditional renewal notices if the coverage is going to be changed. The ENS market is not held to this requirement. You could literally find out days before the desired inception date that some major terms and conditions have changed. Number seven, check the ENS policy thoroughly to ensure the coverage is what was ordered. It is amazing how many ENO claims could have been avoided by employing a thorough policy checking process. Takeaways The ENS market plays a vital role in the industry that has different procedures than standard markets. Develop the appropriate procedures because these differences present many significant issues and challenges. Following these procedures can play a key role in reducing the chance of problems developing. This information is provided solely as an insurance risk management tool. Utica Mutual Insurance Company and the other member insurance companies of Utica National Insurance Group or Utica National are not providing legal advice or any other professional services. Utica National shall have no liability to any person or entity with respect to any loss or damages alleged to have been caused directly or indirectly by the use of the information provided. You are encouraged to consult an attorney or other professional for advice on these issues. Thank you for listening. Insurance Agents and Brokers is the premier resource and champion for independent insurance agencies in Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Delaware. For more information, visit iab4me.com.